Hello all, we are on my back porch right now and this is going to be a video about my personal weight loss. Um, these things may not help you at all. I don't know your situation or if you even have to lose weight. You may not. You may be where you need to be. You know, I can't really tell you what to do, but somebody had noticed that I had lost some weight. Um, in the last videos because you finally you know saw me full length you know for the first time in a while uh, so this yeah this is about weight loss and how I did it I am down to pardon the wind I hope you can hear me now, I am down to 117 now as far as I know I last got weighed in April I don't own a scale I never have um, so I only get weighed at the doctor's and I had my yearly appointment so I got weighed in April and it was 117. Um, last year in April uh, in 2012 uh, I went to the doctor again for a yearly checkup and I weighed 140 pounds. Yeah I'm 5'2". <laughs> So 140 pounds was quite a shock and the thing was that I carried the weight in a way that it, did, it didn't seem like super fat but I was kind of rounder you know than I usually am or usually was in the past you know so uh, seeing the number was a shock and some people might need that kick in the ass. I mean, if you don't own a scale, obviously, and you go to the doctor and you have this idea of what you weighed before, you know, and then you go to the doctor and you see a number that's like way bigger, yeah, you kind of, um, you kind of get motivated a little bit. But I went, I, I went into the, you know, the exam room and everything after I got weighed. This is in 2012, and at the end of the um, exam, he, ha he asked me if I had any more concerns or any questions about anything and I said yeah I think I'm getting fat and he said well what are you going to do about it and the first thing that went off in my mind was I think I'm going to quit drinking soda because I was a complete soda addict I mean like addiction real addiction had to have one every single day several every single day um, my uh, poison of choice was uh, um, Mountain Dew Live Wire. Yeah, I love, oh God, I can still taste it so good. <laughs> but any soda, the Pepsi, especially from a fountain, you know, in a convenience store or something. Uh, just all kinds of horrible sugary things. So that day, that day, I quit drinking soda and I haven't had it since. Not a drop. Not even diet. No, you can't go back. You can't go back to any kind of soda if you had an addiction like mine you just gotta go cold turkey so water all the way after that I mean not all water I mean I'll have like low calorie juice and things like that um, and sometimes I'll treat myself to you know Starbucks if I'm ever in um, a town that has a Starbucks but because it's all about moderation but anyways I'll get to that and then uh, I asked him what else I could do and he tried to offer me some uh, medication to get the weight down real fast and I said no to that uh-uh no thank you sir um, so I didn't go for that but he did have something else that was kind of um, good to keep in mind was 1200 calories a day 1200 calories a day and that really stuck in my mind so after that um, I ate 1200 calories a day uh, which doesn't seem like much but it is for me and there are a lot of things that are low calorie that taste good you know believe it or not now I can't tell you I'm not sitting here telling you to eat 1200 calories a day whatsoever no sir I don't know how tall you are I don't know what um, your health uh, issues are I, I can't tell you anything you have to go to a doctor and I mean a real doctor you know and ask these kinds of questions um, what should I do you know say no to pills number one no supplements no speed no nothing don't because basically what he's offering me was like speed you know <laughs> um, <clears throat> but um, yeah you can't you can't 
rely on a pill to help you with this. Maybe in extreme cases, but no, for normal people, it just may be getting pudgy, you know, <laughs> like I was. So the 1,200 calories a day and the so no soda were the things that I stuck to. I really don't exercise because I'm lazy. <laughs> So, I mean, in the summertime, I ride my bike everywhere in town. I try to. I try not to drive in town in the summer when the weather's real nice. And I try to walk as much as I can in town. But I live in a tiny town, so, I mean, that's not really feasible in a place like Kansas City or Houston, Texas or something like that, you know. Uh, anyways, that's basically what I did. And I went from 140 to 117. Um, I, I only really weighed myself throughout this year of weight loss. I only weighed myself whenever I would take, um, Cherry to the vet because she has allergies, so she has to get a shot every once in a while, and they have, like, a thing that you weigh your doggy on, and, or your cat on, and I would just step on it is like, you know, one of those big things that you just stand on, and it has a digital readout, and... I believe <clears throat> sometime in the late summer uh, I had to take Cherry to the vet and I stepped on it and I was um, 125 and I could not believe it. I couldn't believe that it was actually working. And then all of a sudden people were like telling me that they could notice it. People in real life were telling me that they could notice the weight loss. So you're not going to be able to tell. Unless you're like weighing yourself every day, which I don't recommend. That's not a good way to do things. Don't do that. Just forget about the damn scale unless you see one somewhere, you know, that's convenient. Get rid of yours, you know. And, um, you know, if you see a scale in your life randomly, step on it every once in a while. But that's it. Um, but, yeah, it was really nice to know that people were noticing... Uh, Jason has even noticed and we live together so that would be very very hard for him to actually see it you know and he quit drinking soda that's another thing if you if that's your trigger you know that's something that you overindulge in um, hopefully that you can talk the person into sort of stopping that behavior too you know because he quit drinking soda about a month after I did and um, he is very sweet about it, and he feels a lot better. He's lost a ton of weight, more than me. He's back down to his high school weight, but he's a guy. I think it happens faster for guys than it does for girls. That's fine, whatever. But it is it is helpful. I don't pay attention to, um, unless I'm cooking it myself, I don't pay attention to sugar. You know, if there's sugar in this thing, but it's, you know, under my allotted calories for that meal or whatever, I'll eat it. You know, I'm not discriminatory. It's just the calories because I, I don't have a lot of output, you know, because <laughs> I'm, again, lazy. I don't like to move. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I eat, you know, a lot of regular things. And I've noticed that whenever you switch to a low-calorie diet that you whenever you're cooking for yourself, because you do, you do have to start cooking a little bit more, like actually making meals for yourself, you switch, you, you switch out a lot of things, and like, say for instance, you're making banana bread, you love banana bread, well that's great and everything, but you dump a lot of like, granulated sugar in that, you know, dough, you, or oil as well, oil and things like that, um, what you can switch it with is like a mashed banana, some Greek yogurt, um, applesauce, or not a mashed banana, it's, duh, it's banana bread, but like applesauce, sugar-free applesauce works as an oil substitute. Um, honey, agave nectar work as a sugar substitute. I don't go in for the uh, fake sugar, you know, the stevia. I've never really dug the flavor of it, you know, things like that. But if you, if you like that, then go for it. But um, that's really all I've done is I've kind of started cooking a little bit more, you know, actually making meals, not eating so much processed food, um, but also there's moderation. Moderation comes into play. Say um, your friend is having a barbecue, you know, and they're going to be cooking and having, you know, the potato salad and the hamburgers and the hot dogs and it's all beef and uh, 
stuff like that. You don't have to be fussy about it. You know, you can have a cheat day every once in a while. You can indulge every once in a while. Just don't make it a habit again, you know? Don't make that an everyday thing. Well, <laughs> I'm going to barbecue, you know? <laughs> um, no, that's not good. Um, if you feel a hankering for a burger and you're at home, have a turkey burger. Seriously, it's great. McCormick's, you know, the spice company, McCormick's, they make a all-American burger mix. It's by the gravy mixes and stuff like that at your uh, grocery store. It's amazing in ground turkey. It makes it taste like an actual hamburger. It's pretty great. Uh, <laughs> and, and I've discovered so much great food and so many great recipes because of this low-calorie thing. Something that uh, my friend Lakin told me, who is a nurse, he said, once you start this, you can't really stop. You know, you can't be like, well, I'm done dieting. This is not a diet. This is a lifestyle change that you are changing the way that you live and those are words that are always in the back of my head I'm living this way this is not diet I hate it whenever say, are you on a diet no it is not a diet I have changed the way that I am you know and for the better because obviously somebody noticed it on here that was so awesome thank you so much for noticing um, but yeah that's really all I can say I mean if you go back to videos from last year and stuff and see my face and then look at it now it's pretty different like I could see it when I actually went back to an old video and then saw myself now yeah I can see it definitely so ah uh, gosh I hope that helped it's not I mean that's just my personal story maybe I'll start P90X next week doubt it but <laughs> you never know you never know um, if you're really overweight, um, you might want to exercise, you know, just to tone up while you're losing the weight. Um, and sometimes you need a support group. Tiffany is doing the Weight Watchers thing now. They do have a support group that she goes to. I don't know if it's once a week or once a month. I couldn't tell you. I don't understand Weight Watchers. I don't understand what's in a point. I want to know what's in a point. That's why I read the back of labels. Also, another thing that just came to mind. It is a fact and I can certainly prove this to my you know if you read the nutritional facts on the back of all of the food that you buy when you go grocery shopping you will make better choices I promise you that you will I mean it's a weird thing but whenever you turn a package over and you see oh my god you can only have three cookies and that's 500 calories you're like no thank you because I know I'm gonna want more <laughs> so that's why I don't eat Oreos anymore but Gosh, I don't know what else to say. If you feel like you're getting a little chunky around the middle, you know, you're getting a little bit of this. I still have a little, I have a very undefined jawline. <laughs> but um, if you feel like you're just, things are getting tight and you're trying to justify it by, oh, I'm on my period or, oh, my period was just over. Oh, I'm going to start my period. <laughs> it's probably not the case, you know. Um, but go to a doctor. The next time you have like an exam, I'm talking to the girls right now. Boys, just quit drinking soda and you're going to drop weight. I already know. I've seen it happen. But girls, for your yearly pap exam, if they weigh you and you think that it's a little higher than it should be, ask your doctor what you can do. Just ask. That's all you have to do. <laughs> you know? Hope, and if they try to give you any medication, don't let them. You know, unless you have an actual problem like a thyroid issue or something. Uh, but I di I'm rambling and I don't know where to stop. I don't want this to be preachy. I don't want this to be holier than now. You need to do this. I don't know if you do. You're probably skinny as a rail for all I know. You know, it's your own decision. Um, I kind of based it on what I was uh, the year after I got out of high school. I was about 110 to 115 the year after I got out of high school. So 140 is probably bad, you know, on my frame. Uh, that's just kind of where I put it. I, I've never had children, so I, you're probably going to weigh more after you have kids, and you're probably not going to shake some of it. So live, you know, just get fit, just get healthy. This is all about health. Um, 
Also, I want you guys, if you are kind of wondering about like lowering your calorie intake, nothing drastic. You know, 1500 is a pretty standard calorie intake, it seems like, is a pretty standard like lifestyle change for people. I went 12, but I'm super short. I have a small bone structure. Um, <clears throat> 15 to 2000 is standard. And uh, you can check out my uh, Pinterest um, locale board for some really, really super awesome recipes. I'm not one of those jerks that pins things and then never does them. I make the things that I put on my Pinterest recipe boards uh, and I can vouch for several of them. In fact, I think I'm going to make a new board that's like Jason and Danica approved. Um, so look out for that. But it, for in the meantime, if you want to follow my low calorie board, uh, go down here in the description and there will be a link for it. And I hope that you guys are healthy and well and happy and I will see you next time. Bye.